Hi, my name is Joel Solomon. I'm a prosperity coach, and my vision is to help at least 100,000 people become financially free. You might ask, how do I do that? I do that by teaching them about the basics of investing, stocks or bonds or real estate. I teach them about how to improve their cash flow, how to budget, how to increase their revenues and reduce their expenses, increase their in income so that they can get to financial freedom quicker. And another module I teach is all about manifesting and how to shift your limiting beliefs, your beliefs, your consciousness about money from lack and doubt and fear and scarcity to prosperity and abundance. So today I'm gonna to be talking about money and happiness. Can money buy you happiness? Well, some people have said that money is not everything. And I agree. You certainly don't need money to have joy in your experience. But in our society, where so much of what we want is tied to money in some ways, most of us associate money with freedom. And since freedom is a basic tenet of everything, coming into alignment with money will help us establish a more balanced footing with all parts of our experience. So what does that all mean? It means that money can't buy you happiness, but you need to be in alignment. You need to feel happiness, to feel the joy, to feel the experience, the vibration, the energy, as if you already had the money and then the money will come into your experience that much quicker. It's the feeling, some say the vibration, some say the energy first, and then the actual experience, some say the manifestation second. But it's really, really hard to get to a place of vibrating and feeling good if you're lying on the street and begging for money. So there's a minimum level of money you need to have, I believe, in order to get to a point when you could actually start feeling the feelings. Now, it clearly is possible that you're lying on the street and you could feel like I know this situation is gonna change. You could be feeling happiness in that exact moment and vibrating and feeling great energy. And then things will come into your life that will really change it quickly. But I would say in general, that's the rare exception. It is possible, but in general, having a minimum level of money will actually get you to feel a little bit better. And again, the energy and the vibration will precede the actual experience of having massive abundance and prosperity. So that's today's lesson. Again, that's one of the key concepts from my upcoming book, which is gonna be all about money rules. And I'll, one of the themes is a, is effectively unconventional money rules, and we've talked about that a lot in past weeks. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click like or share it with others. I do wanna help at least 100,000 people become financially free, so send them my way for a free financial freedom analysis and survey and consultation. And you can find me at joelsolomon.com or solomore.com. That's S-A-L-A-U-R-M-O-R.com. I believe in you. Thanks for watching.